owner. He wanted to become a lawyer. So he attended the University of Fort Hare and studied law at the University of the Witwatersrand. Then passed the qualification exam to become a lawyer. 1944, he joined the African National Congress, ANC, a black liberation group, and became a leader of its youth league. That same year, he met and married Evelyn Ntoko Mercy against apartheid, a system where non-white citizens were segregated from whites and did not have equal rights. He rallied with other people to get the rights for the blacks by sitting in front of churches, shops, restaurants, and more. In 1962, Mandela was arrested for leaving the country without a permit and for inciting workers to strike. Upon his conviction, he was sentenced to five years of imprisonment, which he initially began serving as the Pretoria local prison in 1963. Mandela spent the first 18 of his 27 years in jail at the brutal Robben Island prison. He was confined to a small cell without a bed or plumbing and was forced to do hard labor in a quarry. Even behind the prison wall, I can still see the heavy clouds and the blue sky over the horizon. Once a year, he was allowed to meet with a visitor for 30 minutes and once every six months, he could write and receive a letter. In 1990, President F. W. De Clare released him from jail. Mandela and De Clare led efforts to negotiate an end to apartheid, which resulted in the 1994 multiracial general election, in which Mandela led the ANC to victory and became president and president fw de Klerk became his deputy